Hi, this is Father Louis Skirty here at Holy Cross Church in St. Petersburg, Florida. This is my Florida parish when I'm in Florida, which is quite a few times during the year. I visit Holy Cross, and it's a wonderful community. And Joseph Havelka is a member of the community and very involved. So I want to introduce Joseph Havelka. Hello, Hi. Joseph. Thanks Good to see you, Father. Thanks, thanks for, for joining us on Friends of the Word. Um, what we like to do each time we have a guest is find out more about him or her and what their involvement in the ministry is. So what is exactly your involvement here at Holy Cross? Well, at Holy Cross, for the last five years, I've been the volunteer coordinator of Faith Formation. So I run um, CCD classes on Sundays, and we used to have a Friday program for our Hispanic families. And um, we do all the sacraments. And then we also have retreats, and we used to do a large trip to Washington, D.C. Mm. for the March for Life in January. Great. Now, y you said you're volunteer coordinator, so uh, you bring in all of, like, the RCIA uh, yes. members? so I coordinate the entire religious head program here at Holy wow, Cross. Wow, that's great. Excellent. And, and how many kids are involved, children? This year, there are about 100 students involved in the program. That's great. And it's wonderful being here on Sunday and having them come up for uh, the, pull -out the session. script. What, what do you call it? The pull-out session, where they pull them out for the reading. Right. The we have a name for it, the pull-out session. <laughs> great. And, and uh, how did you get involved here? Uh, I was baptized in this parish. My family's in this parish. It's a local community. Uh, you know, I had all the sacraments here. What? And we'll, we'll talk more about your involvement here, too, later. But um, you're also a Catholic school teacher. Yes, I teach at St. Peter Claver in Tampa, Florida, downtown wow. Tampa. How many years have you been doing that? I've been there for the last four years. Great. So the last five here and four there, um, where were you before that? What, what, what I went to school. So I was at the University of South Florida where I went and got a bachelor's degree. Excellent. And then I graduated from St. Pete Catholic in 2007. Wow, that's excellent, excellent. And your involvement here, what, what does that do for you to be involved in the parish? Because I think people need to know what a young man's involvement in a church uh, situation, parish situation is all about. And can they be inspired to imitate you in any way? Well, here at Holy Cross, I kind of got involved by accident. The pastor that was here before, Father Paul, asked me to come help with the, the, um, the sacraments right. for the kids. And that was really a true, uh, a true joyous experience to watch the kids go through the program. And then finally, at the sacraments, it's the best time of the year here at Holy Cross is when we do First Communion and we do Confirmation. Mm -hmm. And that's where the joy is, is right in the sacraments and in the kids receiving their sacraments. Right, right. That is wonderful. And, and from that, is there a, later on a religious ed continuation for them? Yes. Yeah, there's normal CCD classes, and then on Saturdays, once a month, we have the sacramental preparation class. And we still use CCD, Confraternity of Christian Doctrine. Yes. Do they call it CCD, too? Or um, is that your... That's how I call it, because that was referred to when I went sure, here. Sure, that's what we did. Um, they yeah, call yeah, it yeah. Faith Formation, but faith it's the same formation. thing. Right, right, right. Because my, my nephew is in Faith Formation in uh, New Jersey. And he said, what is CCD? I, and they never told the kids. I said, well, I, I explained Confraternity of Christian Doctrine, the oldest uh, faith formation mm -hmm. that we have in, in our country. Um, what are the key aspects of your ministry here at the parish? We serve a, lot of, a large Hispanic population. So we have a lot of people that are freshly coming to this country, and we help get them acclimated. And one of the big things I've been pushing for is to get all of those kids into Catholic school. Uh, it's really important because what we see is that once they make their sacraments, they disappear. And we don't see them again until confirmation, uh, they make their first communion. So the idea is to get them into Catholic school where they're going to go and be part of the religious faith for their lifetime, hopefully. Yeah, excellent. Well, I mean, I, I'm an example of Catholic school education. I went through Catholic everything, from grammar school to university and, and post-grad. Um, and, and I think it's important for families mm -hmm. to, to really appreciate Catholic education, Catholic school education. Public education, of course, is appropriate, but Catholic school education creates a kind of community and family. Do you find that in, in your school where you teach? Yes, very much so. Even though most of the kids, about 90% of the population is not Catholic, um, they're inner city kids, and uh, they come in, and um, they're not Catholic, but they do. we have mass every week. They do the Stations of the Cross. They do everything Catholic, and a lot of them we find in the future become comfortable with being Catholic, and some of them have converted in the past. Yeah. I, I think I think ministry is witnessing. So mm -hmm. much of it is witnessing, and I think that's a, that's a great witness, you know. But but to provide the education, the ambiance, the the, the atmosphere for them is, is important. It's a comforting environment for them to learn and fill. Good, good. It's, it's very respectful. And of course, the, the perennial questions: They have uniforms. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> of course. They wear the blue stripes. <laughs> the blue stripes. Yes. And are there other stripes someplace else? Oh, there's green stripes. There's red stripes. It just depends on which Catholic school you go to in the area. Isn't that 
I mean, that's, yeah. a, that's a great way of putting it. Okay, let's get back to your, your ministry here. Uh, where do you get the time for all this? Because you're teaching every day, right? Right. I work full time. So this, um, while I was in college, I was here more when I had more time oh, you to put into the program. Back and forth. So, no, actually, University of South Florida is right in St. Pete. Okay. So I stayed here local. Okay. And then um, I was here more, and we had a youth group at the time, and we had a huge youth ministry, and then we had um, the, the religious head classes as well. And now, um, because I'm working full time, I wasn't able to keep up the youth group part of it, but right. we still had the faith formation, and it, it, it's really a struggle to fit the time in, to get oh, all the needs met. Yes. Do, do other members of the community volunteer as well? Yeah, yeah we and have a, a very active group that helps, thank goodness. Excellent, to keep excellent, it going. excellent. And that's important for uh, our faith community to, to realize. I think I see it here a lot. I mean, I just came from blessing uh, the people who are the, <laughs> the workers for the uh, rummage sale. Uh, they, they come out, they, they volunteer, they give their time, and, and just, I said, what do you do with the funds from the rummage sale? We give it to the church, and we... You know, they told me how much they donated last year. It's not about funds. It's about the fun that people have in, in, in the community, in, in the community, in building the spirit, the body. This parish in particular is very community-oriented because yes. there's not really too many paid positions here. Most of the positions here are all volunteer. Really? Yes. Interesting. So I think they may have a parish secretary, a maintenance man, and the priest, and that's it. Everybody else that does everything in the church is all volunteer. That, and, and you would never know it. You would know, because people show up, they're on time. They, I mean, the, the sacristan, we have various sacristans, and mm -hmm. they, they're they so, uh, how can I say, oriented and, and, and um, directed in what they do. They come back and inform me what's going on, what the theme is. That's wonderful. That's good, because that's, that's, that's very reflective of the early church. Uh, what we have from the Acts of the Apostles, as our audience will see, we're in Easter season. When we show this, it may not be Easter, but we're in the Easter season now. And the early church came together, and they, they pooled their resources, uh, Luke tells us, and they put their, their resources at the feet of the apostles so that they could co-serve the poor and, and feed the hungry. Uh, and, there's, and that ministry is important here, too, Yes, as we well. had the uh, St. Vincent de Paul Society. Before, when I was working in, uh, I worked at the thrift store, St. Right. Pete, uh, St. Vincent de Paul downtown. Um, for a while, while I went to college. That is great. You're that was really, a lot of fun. You're really into the church. That's great. Your your peers, okay, friends, relatives, where are they? They're not too active in the church, at least the ones that I, some of them I see, which yeah, is that's good. Some, yeah, that's exactly what But I think that young adults. Um, the young adults that, I, that didn't go to Catholic school, a lot of them have now strayed from that. I'm sure that they'll come back, but it just... It's a little disappointing sometimes, especially here at Holy Cross, when I had, in my grad, my confirmation class here, we had over 30 kids. Yeah. And maybe they've moved on to other areas, but I, we don't see them here anymore. Right, right, right. And what can we do to reach out to them? I think just be more welcoming, more, you know, more vibrant, and show that, you know, it's a very vibrant community here. Yeah, that's important. I, I don't I, think people know that. Yeah, I think they, they need to get in the doors, but sometimes we need to go out. I think your, your big sign out front mm -hmm. is a great, and it's welcoming. I mean, what can we do? I mean, we go out, and our, our lives are is evangelization. Well, you know, Father John started the dinner they do once a month. So that's that was fantastic. a really nice free dinner that they do, and that, I think, will help bring the people back in. It's wonderful. This has been Father Louis Skirty with Joseph Avelka. He's a volunteer member here at Holy Cross Church in St. Petersburg. Thank you very much. Thank you, Father, for God having bless me. you. And we'll have you again for another Thank you, definitely. episode. Thank you. God bless you. And pass this on to your family and friends. And if you have any questions, contact me at Father Lou Skirty at hotmail.com. God bless you.